All right, guys, here we go. We're headed into the game against Covert Go Blue because we're in the final four of the tournament, and he is uh, he's the opponent that stands in our way. Like I said in the last video, if you didn't see it, uh, I went 3-2 and two in the Swiss. The two people who beat me were Smokey Layers and Covert here, and in order for me to make the finals, I needed to knock off Smoke, which I did. And now I've got to knock off Covert, so for whatever reason, the way it worked out was that the two people who beat me in Swiss are the two people I have to go through to make the finals. So, it's an interesting storyline. I'm 50% of the way to achieving my goal of making the finals. Excuse me. Got the butterflies going, you know, don't really get like that before a match, but it's a tournament. It's covert. And uh, it's final berth on the line. So, we got no land. Mulligan. Two mana. On the draw. With a vial and a bunch of colorless stuff. I'm going to go to six. And here we're looking at Mirror into Chief, which is not fantastic, but hopefully we'll get to hit a Rogue. Okay, so we're on the draw. Covert's gone to six. Starts with the Cinder Glade. And we pick up an Engineer, which is uh, our deck's premier turn three play. Much rather play an Engineer than the Chief of the Foundry on the third turn. So we're going to start with the Mountain. And he plays Canopy Vista, so he's got Radiant Flames for three right off the bat. Usually he only has two white sources in his entire deck, so I mean that's usually a little bit of a problem for him is finding that third source. Not that it really matters against me, it's only the Chief of the Foundry and the Thopter Engineer that he really needs to have Flames for three, but I have three of those in my hand, so it's pretty good he has that. So uh, his deck has four Fire Impulse, two Radiant Flames, and three Rolling Thunders. Those are the real big cards that I have to worry about. Obviously, he can pressure me with his big dudes and, w and win the game with Ulamog, just like any other ramp deck can. But, uh, you know, the cards that are going to answer me are going to be those. Alright, so. He's played the Gate Creeper. We've got another Perilous Mirror, but it's going to be Sultan Falls into Thopter Engineer for us. And swing for one in the air and get this party started. We got, all our, our we got all our mana tapped out, so there's, there's no reason to swing with the Perilous Mirror there and kind of fake a Twin Bolt or anything like that. <sighs> so we get in for one, and let's see let's see what his follow-up is here. I do not have the mana for Whirler Rogue. Any untapped land will do it for me. But I don't know if I'm going to play it or not, if I'm going to maybe play a Chief and force a board wipe that way and keep the Engineer Rogue for build-up after the Sweeper. Because we know we're getting swept, it's just a matter of how many times. And how quickly. So there's a Nissus Pilgrimage. So we know he has a forest in hand since he played out a mountain. So now it's good. There's an Akum Firebird, but again, we don't have the mana. So here we're going to jack up our artifacts. And we're going to bring in six damage here. So if he chump blocks, I mean, obviously he has a sweeper. A Radiant Flames. Yeah, he's got a Radiant Flames. At this point, Rolling Thunder's only good for three. Well, four, actually, if he uh, once he untaps. But I got a feeling we're getting flames here. Uh, I really wish I had that fourth land, but we have another Engineer. So it's going to be a Thunder. It's going to take down the Chief and probably the, the Thopter token. So we still got uh, two on the board. But yeah, I'd really like to pick up the Firebird. The land for the Firebird. Because that's a really good card for me. Esper's all with haste, so we'll just throw that at him. That's a big hit. But man, I tell you, getting choked on three mana here is not good. You know, if he manages to come up with a Moss, we could just be out of this game. We haven't seen one yet, but... We could be out of this game, so we're going to have to pick up that uh, that artifact. It's going to slow us down a little bit. And he's playing an Omnath. Omnath is a, Omnath is a big boy. So he's tapped out. We're going to have to pick up... Peerless Mirror. We get it with Ace, and there's the fourth land. So we're going to jam the Firebird in the air now. So we got him down to two, and we have two Peerless Mirrors in hand. Oh my, the heart is beating. The heart is beating. He's passing the turn. We have to pick up the Esperzoa. 
but I'm gonna play two peerless mirrors. And I'm gonna bring the attack. And that's game one. Oh god, heart is beating. Whew. Oh man, oh man, okay, one game, one game. Just gotta win one more. Just gotta win one more and get into the finals. Mr. Uh, Mr. Black Barney, he is our other finalist. He is playing Thopters as well. People don't want to see a Thopter final, but I certainly do because I want to be part of it. Oh man, oh man. My heart is racing here now like you, you don't understand. Like I really, really want to win this matchup like you would not believe. So, let's join the session and get in there for game number two. And hopefully we just, uh, we draw an excellent hand and, and go from there. Oh my. Woo! Alright, so moving on. Game number two, the blue eyes of Mr. Covert staring at me saying... Come on, let's do it. And we are looking at two mana on the play with Vile, Double Engineer, and a Chief. I'm actually going to keep this. And I got a bank on a land drop into Chief. Or, I'm sorry, into Engineer. But I got, uh, I got two draw steps and and my alchemist file to find that third land. Hopefully he's not a gate. I've only got four tap lands in the entire deck. Well, hopefully we get it, first of all. And, uh, and there it is. So let's get a draw here. Get one card deeper. An engineer, that's our premier card. The haste is such a big deal. Twin Bolt is very, very bad in this matchup. Unless we manage to rush him down then uh, early, then Twin Bolt can help us close the game. But right now, Twin Bolt is not what I want to see in my hand. Does he have a Gate Creeper? He's not showing it. He's not playing it, so uh, we've got a Spy Network. But we're going to play an Engineer here. And again, we're going to start the party for one damage on the third turn. But Thopters can kind of snowball. I'm not going to play the second Engineer until the first one gets removed. So it could be a Chief of the Foundry turn next turn, swing five. We'll see what he does on three, maybe a Pilgrimage or something. Still not seeing anything. Uh, I could, if I pick up a land here, I might just play Spy Network and play the card advantage game. So let's see if he has a Fiery Impulse. He might want to remove the Stopter now. So we're only getting in for two, but we're going to get the draw card and uh, start generating Thopters. We got the Alchemist Vial there, so even if he sweeps our board, we're still going to generate the Thopter every turn. And have a nice card advantage engine. Are we getting Acid Most? It doesn't really bother me if we do. It's a Nissus Pilgrimage. So we're going to get a token here with haste. I'm going to push with Chief of the Foundry. And it is a Whirler Road, but I'm still going to push with Chief. Because if he has a Rolling Thunder, that's he has to go after the Chief and save the rest of my board, so... And we're going to draw another card. So this is 7. We're taking him down to 10. And we pick up another land, but that's one that we don't have to draw on our next draw step. So let's see. He doesn't have double red for thunder. Does he have the radiant flames for 2? The engineer and the thopter and the uh, the engineer will stick around and so will this bad boy, Chief of the Foundry, unless he plays a white source. So he's up to 6. He's tapping out for Nissa's renewal, so he's going to gain some life here. The question is how much damage can we push for this turn? We've got six mana. So right now we're floating in for nine. Sack in the Foundry brings that to 13 and we don't even have to play anything from our hand and we'll draw a card. So we're just going to do that.
So now the Twin Bolt is looking pretty good. So he's down four, picked up a Whirler Rogue. Let's see what nine mana has for us. Ten mana. I don't think there's any way he can win this game from ten. Radiant Flames, but I get to keep my two dudes with the three toughness. And I still get a dude from my Alchemist Vile. Spy Network combo, and I can give that dude haste with a uh, Thopper Spy Engineer and finish the game with Twin Bolt. He's got a second renewal. It's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough because we got the hasted Thopter. We still got the uh, dude. We got six mana. It's going to be Whirler Rogue. See if he's got the Fiery Impulse. For our Chief of the Foundry. Is he going to two? Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. Oh Christ. He's got both renewals gone though. There's no way I can lose this game. This, oh my god. Oh, that was just, oh god. Oh, that was horrible. Rolling Thunder for 11, so I'm glad I, I, I'm lucky I didn't just fucking lose the game there. Oh, but I had to, oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so upset. But since we did that, I'm going to finish it out with a hasted token plus Thopter Engineer. To give the other Thopter haste and swing for two. And that's it. Covert has fallen. I'm moving on to the finals. I have exercised the demons. I took down the two guys who beat me in the Swiss. And we're going to play in the finals. So this video is over. It only took 12 minutes. So I'm going to let it run for 10. And that way um, there won't be any spoilers. So I'm just going to mute the mic and let this just sit here. And uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching. And we'll see you in the finals.